Improving 3D orientation tracking in gyroscope sensors. Gyroscopes are important tools for measuring the orientation and rotation speed of rigid moving objects. Traditionally, they are made up of a spinning disc mounted onto a circular support which is free to rotate about the disc's axis. Because they can measure changes in orientation, they are essential components of many navigation systems, including those used on board ships, aircraft, space telescopes and planetary rovers. Today, many gyroscopes are based on microscopic, vibrating mechanical elements integrated into electrical components. Such MEMS gyroscopes are used as motion sensors in smartphones, virtual reality headsets and wearable fitness trackers. Despite the crucial roles that gyroscopes play, Sara Stanchin and Sasho Tomajic at the University of Ljubljana argue that current techniques for interpreting their measurements are imperfect. The problem stems from the sequential interpretation of gyroscope rotations, which assumes that the rotations around the three axes occur one after the other. In reality, the rotation takes place about all three axes simultaneously. As an example, imagine the rotation of an airplane in flight. Using a MEMS gyroscope, we would measure the actual rotation of the airplane as three orthogonal rotations around the sensor's axes. Breaking rotations into three-part sequences simplifies the calculations, but Stanchin and Tomajic show that this approach introduces errors in the measured orientation. These errors arise since changing the order of the successive rotations also changes the final orientation of the rotating body. If we measure the rotations of two airplanes following different sequences, their measured orientations could end up being noticeably different to each other, even if they are identical in reality. Since there are six possible sequences of rotations about three axes, there are also six possible final orientations, none of which are correct. The larger the angle of the actual gyroscope rotation, the larger the error in the end rotation. Accuracy can be improved by assuming that rotations take place about all three axes simultaneously. Stanchin and Tomajic aim to establish a reliable basis for incorporating simultaneous rotations into the methods currently used to track the orientation of rigid bodies. They showed that a gyroscope measures the three components of the rotation vector which is aligned with the actual axis of the sensor's rotation. If this axis doesn't change during the measurement, the final orientation of the object can be calculated by multiplying this vector by the rotation time. This vector is called the Simultaneous Orthogonal Rotation Angle, or SORA. Stanchin and Tomajic have shown that SORA is well suited to calculating the orientations of rigid, moving bodies in real time, a capability that could have far-reaching consequences for navigation systems and smart devices.